Good day and welcome to another PHP Runner tutorial. Today we will be looking at get next selected record within the button object. This tutorial is the result of a question asked by one of the channel users, Danny Walker, who asked for a practical example to add selected records from the list page into another table using a custom button. He also would like to see a message on how many records were added and how many already existed in the target table. I will be using PHP Runner version 10.3 for this demonstration that can be downloaded from xlinesoft.com. I already prepared a basic project with two tables. The first table is a customer table and the second table, customer 2, is the target table. The idea is to save all selected records from the customer table into customer2 table. The two tables are not identical, but can store similar information for a few columns. In this example, customer ID, last name, first name and uh, job title can be stored in both tables. Please note that customer ID is not the key in the target table. Customer2 has table ID as the key, which is also auto increment. At this point, we have a basic project with two list pages. Customers, with a few records populated, and Customers2, which is currently empty. I proceed to the page designer on the customer list page. I add a custom button, copy selected. I comment everything in the client before event. In the server event, we need to identify all the selected records in some way and loop through them. Get next selected record returns an associated array with values of the records selected on the list page. It returns an array so we will have to store the array in a variable, I call it $CustRecord. The next step is to loop through the array via a while loop. Now that we have a loop of all selected records from the customer table, the next step would be to see if the record already exists in the target table. Note how I reference the ID value within the associated array that was called $CustRecord a few moments ago. The query tries to find the customer ID in the target table and tests to see if it exists. If the ID exists, nothing further happens for this record. But if the record does not exist, we will add it. I only add ID, last name, first name and job title. Again, note how I reference the field names from the array. The only thing left now is to construct a message about the records inserted and records that already existed. This message can be quite long since you can select many records from the list page. Now you can approach it any way you like, but I decided that an HTML table in a pop-up might work ok. First, I construct the table header and footer. The table detail will populate as the for loop continues to loop. I store the final result in the result array that will go to the client after event. Here I display the final HTML table in a pop-up. Ok, so let's see how it works. I select a few records and click the button. And here is the HTML table showing the results. 
Customer 2 now has a few records. Let's try and copy them again. This time only one record was added as the other two already existed. Ok, that's it for this tutorial. Denny, I truly hope I answered your question. Please share, like and subscribe and leave your comments. Like always, thanks for watching. Until next time.